Well, welcome. How is everyone? I see we got Jets Mets in here. What's up, Jess Mess Mess? Alan Gadois, Wiki Bobby's here, Cynthia Turner's here, Mesopotamian Merch Maker's here. Hello, Mesopotamian Merch Maker. I threw up the link earlier. Get your shirts and buttons and bottle openers and I don't know what else is on there. Get you some merch, you chumps. How's everybody doing on this fine Saturday night? I think I had said hi to Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. We're going to talk about the history of masked wrestlers. The reason we're going to talk about the history of masked wrestlers is because I had some, uh, you know, one of them, they're Mesopotamians trying to explain it to me. Just because somehow or another they live in California, they think they're an expert on masked wrestlers. So I'm going to lay it all out for you, chumps. We'll get into that here in a minute. Bringing it back on a Saturday night's main event. Well, I had one person pay for the pay-per-view. And the chump that's supposed to be in the pay-per-view with me, he ain't in the building, boys and girls. He's ducking me. He don't want none of this smoke. He don't want me to kick his ass that's pissing red, white, and blue. America. He's a chump. He knows he's a chump. He's always been a chump. He always will be a chump. Everybody know what chump I'm talking about? I think you do. So maybe when the weather gets warm, maybe we're going to have this fucking chump, you know, fucking actually do something. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Oh, yeah, Cripple H needs to wash that mustache. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing in uh, old Wiki Bobby here in a little bit. He's supposed to have done some studying. We'll see. Hi, Michelle Vara. How are you? We're going to talk about masked wrestlers. More importantly, the history of masked wrestlers. Uh, most uneducated swine... Don't know anything about masked wrestlers. Saul Kogan. He sounds like a chump. He takes chump out of the Chumpomania 2022. Well, we still got some time to get this going, boys and girls. We, we can get this uh, mustache chump light him up a little bit. I figured we'd all stay high for a few minutes and then oh my god, Buddy comes prepared with information and facts. It's usually just opinion pieces with me. And my opinion's always right. So there's still facts. Go fuck yourself. But yeah, so how's everybody been? I'm not sure if there's going to be a ghoul show tomorrow night, but um, Gray Fox is in talks with the uh, the network heads of doing a uh, video game streaming show. We'll see about that. That'd be pretty cool. I was trying to do a workaround with uh, 
the chump we were all addressing a moment ago. You know who you are, Cripple H. You're a fucking bum. Um, since I can't get him out of the house, I figured we'd have a, uh, excuse me, guys, uh, we could stream live us playing a wrestling game and he'd still be getting his fucking head caved in. Um, but the uh, technology he has and the technology I have are not going to work together. I have the Xbox Series X. I have a don't have an Xbox One anymore, but I do have a 360. All the 360 games are not supported with online servers, so we can't go that route. And I have PS4, which that chump doesn't have one. Slouch a man, pansy savage. Woo, yeah. Facts. I'm not going to say versus fetishes because I'm going to say facts and fetishes. So we'll do that. I'll give you guys a couple more minutes here before I get, excuse me, I got to get tuned up for the show, if you know what I mean. But um, we'll talk about the history of masked wrestlers. And just for you other uneducated swine in the audience, Luchador, the name Luchador is Spanish for fighter or wrestler. So it could very well be the American wrestler. But, you know, I don't want to be called the American Luchador, just so we can clear that up. You can get out your little Google box thingy, one of these things right here, and look all that nonsense up. So, the history of masked wrestlers. Where does everybody think, and I'm only going to give you like 10 seconds, it started, because I'm not going to have you Google shit. Luch Master. I am the Master Luch. Oh, check out my new Dan Housen shirt. Very evil, very elite. Um, the first recorded masked wrestler was uh, this cat here. Theo Bauer. I got my notes on the back. The light's shining through. Seems Mr. Bauer, he was a Frenchman. No offense, Alan Gabois. I know you're one of them goddamn jet you wrong on Mexico. We're going to get to that, brother. That's what everybody thinks. In the year 1847, and is where the, you know, Mr. Bauer was born in France. A young athletic man. Um, Greco-Roman wrestler in his young adulthood. He was performing at the uh, 1865 World's Fair. He's the first recorded one. I couldn't find a picture of him in said mask. Um, but he was performing at the 1865 World's Fair that was in Paris as the masked wrestler. Um, I guess, you know... I, Back in the day, like how we have WWEs on tour, they had troops of uh, Greco-Roman wrestlers that went from town to town performing. Um, sure, they didn't have money in the bank, you know, cases and blah, 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 the lights and the McMahons and the everything else. But, you know, they'd go put on a show and make a few bucks. People would bet on it. Human nature, we like to bet on other people or bet against other people. Mills Maracas is one of my favorites, though. Um, I'll get into that. But he is officially the first masked wrestler. Um, they referred to him as the professor. He ended up coming to the States. Long story about this guy. He come over to the States and uh, him and... Blah, 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 where is he at? William Modoon, another Greco-Roman wrestler. They had a fucking... Uh, gimmick con they would run. They would go from barnstorming from town to town, all over the U.S., throwing fights. They were in cahoots together, um, you know, to make money. Seemed like a legit thing to do. So as he's getting a little longer in tooth, and he dies at a pretty young age, actually. But, you know, we were talking the turn of the last century, so 40 was old as fuck. He, uh, he'd invested his money, his uh, bamboozled money wisely. He'd bought all kinds of property in San Francisco. And like in 1901, he was pulling over $1,000 a month in rent in 1901 money. 
I don't want to do the math, see what it translates to, but he was a well-off dude. Um, he might have been the first Ric Flair because he said he was always dressed to the nines and uh, always had ladies accompany him as he walked around the streets. Then things got too hot for him in Frisco with a crime boss, so he moved a little south, went to L.A., set up a big-ass red-light district there. Um, he drunk himself to death and ends up dying at the age of 47. Um it's the story of Mr. Bauer, the professor, the first mass wrestler. Guys, do some Google images. So the next masked wrestler that comes about is this fellow right here. His name is Cyclone Mackey. Yeah, handsome fella. This is a picture from... 1935. This is going to go into the Mexico part. His real name was Corbin James Massey. I'm not sure if he's related to me or not, because we're related to a bunch of Masseys. But he was born in Missouri in 1903. You know, he was an athletic, strapping young man. Um, into the Greco-Roman wrestling. Performed. Then he got him a mask. Um, he was working as the Cyclone, because I guess he was like a high flyer. Cyclone Mackey was the name he come up with. In 1933, working the Southwest Territories, they ventured over into Mexico. Mexican pr promoter, Salvador, I'm going to mangle all these Spanish last name stuff. We'll call him just Salvador. I'm not even going to attempt his last name, guys. He's seen the mask gimmick, and he's like, pretty cool idea. So Cyclone Mackey, Corbin James Massey, introduced the mask to Mexico. So he went by a lot of names over the years. Uh, Mr. X, Gray Mask, Yellow Mask. Um, he retired in 1951. Uh, I think he died. I got it wrote down here somewhere. Uh, bu, 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 what long after retired he died, though? But he uh, he was the first one to work masked in Mexico. Um, he is credited with starting the tradition in Lucha Libre of the masked wrestlers, him and uh, Salvador, the promoter. Then it become like a thing down there. Oh shit! I forgot one in between. That's that's da 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 da. There there was Mort Henderson too. Nineteen fifteen. He was in between those two. See, I prepared. Thief on a cross. What's up, asshat? Black and people was uh, still baguettes. That's pretty fucking good. Lucha Libre means free fighter. Um, I forgot about Mort. He was in between the uh, French dude and old Mackey. He um, he worked as the uh, masked Marvel. Um, in 1915, he couldn't get into this wrestling tournament at uh, some opera house. He was blacklisted, you know, under his real name for whatever. So this cat buys him a ticket, puts on this pretty... Pretty wonky black mask here. Gets him ringside seats and insults him until he can get in there. And, uh, you know, wrestle. Because we like to wrestle. Um, and it's become like the normal thing leading up to Cyclone Mackey, who introduced it to Mexico. But then from that point on, a lot of people would run around in mask. You know, the masked wrestler again. Uh, the masked mauler, there's just oodles of them. Some of them, they suspect who they were. Some of them, they're like, I, well, it was this person. He denied it to the day he died. But then we get into Mexico. Everybody know this gentleman here? El Santo, the saint. This guy right here is what made Lucha Libre... Uh, you know, masked Mexican wrestlers, the, the thing, the legit thing. He'd started wrestling without a mask to begin with. Um, El Santo means the saint. Uh, 
Roberto Guzman Hirata, but he, you know, Roberto Guzman's the name he wrestled under before he became the saint. Um, he's the guy, man. They, this, they made over 50 films, comic books, cartoons, serial. He was the Hawk Hogan of that time. Can you imagine an, an actor being in 50 films, much less a masked actor? This guy was in an, over 50 films. So this is where they embraced it and it become a, like a legit thing. Uh, back in the day, I guess they still do it. They would have basically a mask for ma mask match. The loser would get unmasked. And it's like considered poor form and very disrespectful to try to unmask a luchador during a mask or a match. Um, set up looking good. Roslyn set up. I don't know what that is. Miss Penny, a merch maker, thousand dollars in nineteen oh one is equivalent to thirty three thousand dollars and thirty three thousand and seventy six dollars today. So he was pulling in some serious rent money. But I just wanted to, you know, give a little, little education to the uneducated swine to think that just because you live in California, y'all, you're some sort of expert on mass wrestlers. You can go fuck yourself. And I don't want to see you next Saturday night. I'll hit you off with the commie kisser, you cock licker. Jets throwing up links. We need a Canadian luchador, maybe a maple leaf on the map. That'd be pretty slick. That'd be pretty His move could be the poutine. Hit him off with the gravy, baby. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that that's my uh, little quick. Luchador, um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it an education. Just give you a few quick facts. You can do your research yourself. But it's the first time I've ever made notes before a show. I'm actually proud of myself. Um, Junebug, do you have something to add, Mr. Wiki Bobby? I'm looking at him. Oh, wrestling. I get it. Ah, it took me a second, thief. Junebug, did you do any research? Or did you sit around watching Who's the Boss? Of course he didn't do any research. Let me guess, you're watching Give Me a Break and Who's the Boss? Who's the Boss? Whatever the fuck it is. Hey, man, hit the hit the merch link. Only thing stronger than this, this ain't coffee. This coffee is the American Luchador. Alan Gabois says bring in Junebug. Oh, man, we're going to do this. Let's bring in the bug. Come on in, bug. Tell us what's up. My little luchador in training. What's up, June bug? Uh, Are you growling or laughing? I'm not sure. Both. <laughs> both. Okay. What are you drinking on tonight, June bug? Nothing right now. I might well, get some right water in a little bit. <laughs> Did you get yourself a bottle of bourbon for the show? No. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little Jack single barrel select is not bad. It's not great either, but it's not a bad bourbon. Get that merch, yo. Thief on the cross. You need a merch. You need some merch. You need a shirt. You need a bottle opener. Do you need a coffee mug? We can hook you up with this. I'm going to sell some of my, uh, what would these wouldn't be ring used? These would be, uh, Show used mask. I think I'm going to sell them, autograph them. You know, my biggest fans out there. Look at that mask dragon lucha. That's my lucha boy in training. My little lucha maniac, Junebug. Can you feel the vibes, Junebug? Do you got a commie kisser to hit him off with? Oh, I got a commie kisser. You need a commie kisser. Four shirt styles, bottle openers, mugs available. There we go. Junebug, have you ordered your shirt? Nope, that's it. Why? Why not, Junebug? Been trying to do other stuff around here. <laughs> what are you doing around there, buddy? I guess I might fix the car for Chester. 
Oh, I heard he's got that covered, bro. Word on the street is he's got it covered. Just hit the merch button, Looch Merch, headed to Connecticut. Yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. Junebug, you need to yeah, get a drink? Huh? I see the comment, Alan. I like the mask. <laughs> yeah. I know someone who's buying merch tonight. Buy more merch, goddammit. Capitalism. America. I love it. <clears throat> the merchandise. <laughs> there you go. So what else has been going off, Junebug? Have you been doing any, have you been studying, studying any moves, any submission moves or anything? Just watch the pay-per-view today. That was horrible. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> then Bobby Lashley don't even get the fucking wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Where's, hurt. All, where's all my boys that say Cody Rhodes was going to show up? I watched the whole goddamn thing. Cody Rhodes wasn't there. Don't believe everything you read on the internet, boys and girls. <laughs> Just telling you right now. Undertaker is getting in the Hall of Fame. That's a good thing. Right? Yep. Yeah. I need a Percy Pringle as a manager. Can you round me one of those motherfuckers up? He's like my Ooh, favorite yeah. thing in the world. What? <laughs> you mean... Uh, Paul Bear? Oh, yes! Yeah, that's what I'm to Get him, Junebug! Oh, yeah, you think it will destroy everybody? <laughs> oh, it's a miracle Ken can drop! I was watching the Broken Skull sessions this morning. <laughs> Already packed and ready to go. Look at that! They're buying merch! Hit him with a commie kisser! I gotta make that a banner, boys and girls. So what else has been going off, Junior? I'm sad that you didn't uh, do any studying, man. I oh, only know bro. half of it. I only know what I've seen on TV before wrestling, man. Well, who'd you see? <laughs> yeah, like from uh, Lucha Libre. You say Rey Mysterio, <laughs> I'm going to knock your dick in the dirt. Like uh, this guy called Prince Puma. He wore a, a, a Puma mask every time. Oh, yeah. And Where Luke was he at? WCW? I think that's where he's at. Oh, WCW ain't in existence anymore. I forgot where he went to. Oh. <laughs> Should I have a complete luchador look, complete luchador dragon look with a ring robe and a dragon tail. His tail's going to be dragging ass if we don't do his homework next time I tell him to. You're being a bad apprentice. Come on, Junebug. Get with the program, baby. You ain't doing nothing. You couldn't do no studying. Come on, I'm having a drink. You ain't got a bottle of bourbon. Have you been smoking cigarettes? Dude. No. You don't drink. You don't smoke. Have you been hitting people off with a commie kisser? No. Where's your commie kisser? You need a ring. I got one, but <laughs> but it's in my room right now. What's going on? El Vampiro, I remember him. Um, getting back to luchadors, I um. Everybody knows Rey Mysterio. He's like one of the most famous ones of the last, what, 25, 30 years. Um, I like, you remember Ultimo Dragon? You? Yeah. Then there's... Puma is Ricochet, says, uh, Cripple H! Crawled from underneath the fucking woodwork. What's up? Then, not the... There was another one that was in WCW called Parka La, La Parka. He wore a, a, a hooded skull 
mask and he come he'll only carry a a steel chair, call himself the chairman of the board. Oh yeah? Well, that's cool. What other ones do you remember? Vampiro and ICP. Oh my god, ICP. <laughs> oh Jesus. Fucking juggalos, man. Ugh. Uh, Cripple H says Laparka is dead. What the hell was that? Oh, oh, oh. My watch started doing <laughs> crazy shit. Sorry. Just <laughs> scratching real quick. <laughs> what are you scratching? Your balls? On the hand. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Well, what other luchadors did you like, Junebug? Let's see. There was one called Curry Man, but he was from, J from Japan. What's wrong with Japanese wrestlers? <laughs> I I'm think you are a friend. Let's see. At him. Then. The great Kabuki, nah, he he wore something like a mask sometimes, uh, but he, was, he he didn't wear a, 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 a he wore a mask to the ring. He didn't perform in a mask. I know. <laughs> Insane clown posse wrestling, stone cold garbage. I have the utmost contempt for juggalos. I'll hit them off with the commie kisser. Great Muta. Yeah, I remember the Great Muta. He was scratching his little dragon. <laughs> America. That's pretty goddamn funny right there, pal. You scratching your little dragon, Junebug? Junebug, we're going to get you a bottle of bourbon. We'll start you off uh, slow. We'll get you some shitty bourbon with a screw-on cap. You know, Jim Bean or something. <laughs> You gotta start off slow with the hobo, the, the the bum juice. Then we'll get you up to the sucking real shit, bro. I'm gonna get into this. this is my Metallica bourbon. I've, I've hit it pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit of this tonight. I'm feeling it, you know. Junebug, you're a hell of a conversationalist, brother. That's why I love you. You're the greatest. The hobos and the bimbos. Get, get, get your cups here. You gonna get you one of these coffee cups, Junebug? I don't know yet. God damn, that's good bourbon. A Cripple H would know Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Well, Juggalos, and this is my opinion, so it's a fact, are pretty worthless. They're, they don't want to take baths. They say woot woot or woot woo, some shit like that constantly. I follow that one uh, Mesopotamian uh, superhuman, and I'm not sure why I do. I think that boy ought to be in a home and heavily medicated. But Juggalo Championship Wrestling just didn't cut it. You know why? Because Juggalos, 98.9% .9 of them don't have a real motherfucking job, and her mom got tired of paying for them to go to the fucking matches. That's why it didn't make it. They didn't have jobs, so they had nothing better to do, but they couldn't pay for a ticket. Now, some beat your doors <sighs> America. don't hardly take off their mask in public. Well, El Santo was famous for it. Mills Maracas was famous for that. I run around in public wearing mine constantly. I don't care what you think. I've never had anybody ask me why the fuck I'm wearing it. America Jets, hit them off with the America. Hit them off with the commie kisser. Did the Undertaker wrestle the Juggalos? Um, like you, Allen, and Junebug. Okay, I don't know where that's going. Luchador 216, Miami Vice, and mug out the door. Capitalism at its finest, and that's why I don't like Juggalos. I am now. Clint Torres. 
I think he still is a juggalo. He don't have a job. His mom pays for everything. And he purposely shits himself on a daily basis. That ma, I need it. And somehow or another, because you're some sort of mutated freak that won't take a shower, the world's against you. Maybe if you went and brushed your tooth. Yeah, I said it. Tooth. Motherfucker got one. And ain't green as shit. Didn't be eating microwave cheeseburgers all goddamn day. Clint Torres, get a job. Oh, hit me up on the gram, guys. I'm trying to get some more followers on the gram out there. You know, I'm doing some, what are them youngins called? Networking and, uh, um, what is it when you post pictures? I don't know, posting pictures. There's that tweeter. I ain't tried to start a war. Nobody on Twitter in a while. But I am followed by Sergeant Slaughter. The real Sergeant Slaughter with the blue check mark, boys and girls. He knows an American when he sees it. Sergeant Slaughter is one of the greatest wrestlers of all goddamn time. He's a true American. And he was a member of G.I. Joe, for God's sake. Connecticut is getting some merch. America. Has anybody else got anything to add on the whole um, luchador, lucha libre, masked wrestlers? Curious. You can do all, all the people I mentioned. Just do a little research. I, I wish more people, on a serious note, we carry these things with us everywhere we go. When we were kids, or people in my generation when we were kids, if you wanted to know something, you'd have to go to the library. Go fuck with the Dewey Decimal System. Go look through thousands, well, hundreds of books to find the information you wanted. Now all you got to do is open this motherfucker up, say, hey, Siri, hey, Google, whatever the fuck you got set up on yours, and you, you, the world is at your fucking fingertips. Use it. Be educated. Don't be a Mesopotamian. America. Oh, no, nah, Sergeant Slaughter was a loser like loser door. You bum-ass hoe. Don't make me come down there and flip over your goddamn box of a house you're living in. I'll steal the wheels off your trailer, boy. Did you ever make a Metal American Luchador card with your merch maker? No, I have not, but I am getting new cards. I'm glad you said that. I have cards. But see, I got this case, and it opens up. And I can get like probably a dozen cards. And since I keep my phone with me when I'm out running around, I always have this. I rarely just leave it sitting in the console of the car because I live in the hood. Um, and the stores I shop at are in the hood. That's not a smart move. They'll bust out your $300 window to steal your $1,000 phone. Um, so I, I figured if I got new business cards that were credit card size, I could probably carry 10 or 12 of them back there. And so when I'm running around Target, wearing my motherfucking mask, and they look at me. I'm always doing this move. I got cards, and then if Rhonda ain't with me, she carries them in her purse. I have a hard time giving them to him. But if I have 10 or 12 on me at all times, and I just keep them in the console, when it runs out, reload it. Right, Junebug? Mm-hmm. Well, what else is going off, Junebug, in the world of the bug? You ain't been doing huh? any training. You ain't been doing any heavy drinking. Have you been trying to pick fights with your neighbors? No. Why? You're failing at this whole... You got to go out and wrestle your neighbors or something, bud. Me and Junebug's going to shoot some promos here as soon as the weather breaks. Right, Bug? I got, I got Bug already committed to turning on Cripple H. That didn't take any swaying whatsoever. He just like instantly agreed to it, which was great. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go. Uh, Don Morocco and uh, King Kong Bundy on him. You know what I mean? I need somebody to come in and be Bobby the Brain Heenan and put a fucking few kicks in Cripple H's head. No, they have not made a Cripple H action figure. We need one though. And give it his little boom sticks that are taped yeah. together. Is that what you call them or hit sticks? I don't remember. What is it, Cripple H? 
Now I got some toys to show off. That you oh, my God. You want to your do. toys to show? Let's see it, bud. Come on, bud. Big. Here's one. What is it? Slow down, son. Okay, I don't know what it is, Junior. I'm trying to hold it. Okay, I'm trying to hold it still. That looks like, uh, I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. It's from the movie <laughs> Coco. Hector. Oh, that Disney movie? About the, what is it, about the Day of the Dead? Yeah. All right, I give that a thumbs up. Next one. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God. It, he's got a Clint Taurus axe figure from back when he was skinny. Holy fuck, still men on card. That's worth a fortune. <laughs> Yo, June Buck Allen kid? and Merch Man couldn't beat me on a bet. Shut up, Cripple H. Uh, what, what, uh, slow down. God damn, I'm having a fucking seizure over here where you're moving that fucking phone around. Oh, it's Indiana Jones. All right, is that from the Crystal Skull? Toy line? Yep. Yeah, yeah the one where you take the off the, off the fee. Yeah, I remember when that movie came out. I was sorely disappointed. Steve's going to get better. They're going to have a female Indiana Jones that's going to wipe all that out of existence. I heard some shit about that. What you got there? Well, holy fuck. It's one of the Remigos. That is a cool figure. Those uh, Remigos, I, I bought a bunch of them when they first come out. Uh, mostly the horror happens. ones, but I have all the original Happy Days ones. But that's a cool figure, Bug. Open that motherfucker up, and play with it. It's a toy for God's sake. What else you got, June Bug? I gotta turn my head. Oh, the ghost with the most Beetlejuice. I always like Beetlejuice. I know they're making a Beetlejuice too. June Bug tells me about it constantly. Who's that made by? NECA? Uh, cool. Yeah, Mecca. NECA. There's one of my Toon close Toon personal Toon. friends like to say, NECA. NECA. It's fucking NECA. Get it right. Okay, what else you got, got Junebug? I'm still getting come out. All right, That's get right. out. I don't want to see your little dragon, though, buddy. I ain't trying to see all that. This is an adults-only show, but I ain't trying to... Jeez, I'm having a fucking seizure over here. We gotta get this boy a camera or a tripod or... The fuck is that? Oh, it's Cobra Commander. Well, that's cool. I like G.I. Joe. I just don't like those classifieds. I like 82 to 80... 64 to 88. Let's get that right. If it ain't got an O-ring and brittle as fuck, I don't want it. What is that? Uh, Batman, Deathstroke? I don't know. What is it? Oh, it's Deathstroke. Deathstroke. That's cool. You hot on them McFarlane figures, eh? That's the one I won from, you know who? Captain Crappy. Captain Crappy, yeah. The ghoul was talking mad shit on him the other day about having an added dick to me. I've seen Captain Crappy's dick. He don't need an added dick to me. He needs a reduction. Oh, that's very American, Junebug. Hold it still. God damn it. Is that a treasure troll? Uncle Sam, are you fucking kidding me? If that ain't fucking America. We'll call America. What is. America icon. All right, well, you... That's pretty cool. Where'd you score that at? Um, Mark. Marks. Yeah, people yep. in Northeast Ohio are going to know what Marks is. They're a discount store. You never know what you're going to find there. They buy shit that's returns, overstocks, and they just pile it in there. Sell them for pennies on the dollar. Damn, Junebug did some digging of toys. What? Is that another one? That's an eagle, ain't it? Yep. Fucking America, baby. I'm getting a fucking chubby here. President John Wayne, the greatest president of all time, would be fucking proud of you, brother. America. What the fuck is that? A Batman? 
Brother, I'm about to give you some camera uh, skills. Helicopter. Oh, the, the backcopter. That's sweet. Alan Gabois said hit him off with an America. America. Junebug's new luchador named the Night Dragon. Ooh, I like that. Name. <laughs> he likes that. Say it again, Junebug. I like that name. <laughs> All right. I've got that Undertaker. A monster. pretty cool fucking figure. <laughs> I got the Stone Cold one. No, I never did got one. Just throw their paper. He's right here behind me, brother. Let me let you let me hit you off with that fucking Stone Cold. Where'd you at? Whoa! Check that out. I still didn't work on the lighting, guys. I'm horrible. But he didn't come with that belt. That's the zombie monster Stone Cold, right? This belt is a smoking skull belt that I don't know what it come with. I didn't start collecting wrestling stuff a few months ago. Um, but this had been on my Nika um, Robocop six inch figure for years. I, I don't know where my Nika Robocop figure is. I had him over here fucking with him the other day. But I'd had it on him for years because I have a little bit of Robocop stuff over there in that corner. And I forgot I even had that Stone Cold belt. Oh, what is that? Marty McFly or Biff? I don't know. It's some kind of yeah. weird-ass Back to the Future toy. Yeah, the one with two heads. Oh, two heads. You know what they say. Two heads is better than one, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool figure, guys. Um, the belt must have come with some other Stone Cold figure or maybe a lot of toy parts I bought. And I just randomly, that's motherfucking Iceman, Bobby Drake. That's a cool figure. But I have the zombie of him, the Undertaker, and I think there's another one floating around here. I don't remember who the fuck it is, though. Triple H, maybe? Yes. Is that Triple H, guys. I don't know. It's here Damn. somewhere. What is that? Now I got money, but... Marty McFly. Oh, that's Marty McFly. He looks like a fucking Mesopotamian. <laughs> that dude has he does all this shit constantly. I don't know what's wrong with him. They said it's medical. I think it's drug induced or lack thereof. America. <sighs> Igor from Young Frankenstein. You know, Target has the two packs marked down of Doctor Frankenstein and. Um, the monster in their tuxedos and top hats marked down to 30 bucks during the two pack. They're over in the electronics department. Mm. I picked it up twice and put it back down. Cause like I said, trying to avoid buying those new Mego or re Mego figures. As I call them, you can't collect everything. You know what I collect? I collect championship straps and I'm waiting on chumps to come take them. And nobody fucking will. First, what, huh? I'm having That's a like, seizure again. What, what is that? Captain Jack Sparrow. Don't that fucking dude live in France? Pretty sure that guy lives in France, brother. He's a Frenchman yeah, he, now. He, he, uh, yeah. He's very un American. Well, two more left. Two more left. All right, Junebug, hit them all. Bring a fire bug. Come on. I have nothing. What the fuck? Uh, well, mystery Man. Oh, Mystery Man. Pee Wee Herman. The Spleem. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember that movie well. And last but not least. Last but not least, the bug says. Hit him, bug. Bring something good, brother. Is that the spirit? I don't. I don't know. You're moving too much. Oh, it's a Joker, I guess. In the shadows, it looks like uh, the spirit. Well, that's that's a pretty good sized Joker. Like oh, it's cool. one of the Titan figures. Is Triple H coming on the show? That bum has been ducking me forever. He knows he's going to get hit in the cocksucker with the commie kisser. If you don't have the greatest action figure of all time, you don't have nothing worth anything. Well, 
enlighten me, Cripple H. What is the greatest action figure of all time? Is it the 1978 Mattel Godzilla? I got 10 of those. Is it Rom Space Knight? I got a couple of those. What is the greatest action figure of all time? Enlighten me. We're waiting on your fucking dial-up fucking internet, buddy. Get your flip phone out. I know you got to hit each fucking number four times, and if you fuck up when you're trying to type, it's horrible. Motherfucker stuck with 1998 technology. Come on, Cripple H. What is it? We're all going to collect Social Security by the time this motherfucker's me and the crow tie at number one. You have an action figure? I Please do show it all. Chester has an action figure of himself? No? Yes? Oh, you got it. Okay. Well, that's not him. Just so we're clear on that, that's not him. Well, Junebug, you did a good job this week. Junebug gets a thumbs up. Next week, do some more toy digging and see what you come up with. Oh, I got the more. Remember, remember Junebug, <laughs> get you a big old bottle of bourbon. The cheaper, the better. Spit out your vitamins. Don't say prayers for a motherfucker. And be the most hateful bastard you can be. Someday you'll be as good as me, America. I'm going to take you out of the chat for a while. <coughs> Thank you, Junior. Mm-hmm. All right. Junebug did some research on that, at least. He didn't do any luchador research, but it is what it is. Michelle Barra says, nice collection, Junebug. Yeah, Junebug was pulling out some uh, some rando shit. He did a good job. He did some research. He did some digging. Urkel doll. I've got an Urkel doll. Junebug's too, I'm uh, not Junebug. Cripple H's too poor to get an Urkel doll. He's a bum. That's why we call him a goddamn bum. Excuse me, guys. That was vulgar and disgusting, and I do apologize. How's the sound and everything tonight? How's the video? Other than his shadow. The, yeah, this side. The shadow. <laughs> you peek, Alan. Shame on you. Oh, Chester. But yeah, we had a little bit of fun. Um, I was wanting Gray Fox to show up in here. He hasn't yet. Um was talking to Captain Crappy. Um, he said that Gray Fox is going to start doing a video game streaming show. Maybe I'll do some research. And I know Junebug and Cripple H has the Xbox One, not the Series X. See if we can play online. And it's cross-gen, because I already pre-ordered the WWE 2K22. There was no 21, because Roni or Koof or whatever the fuck you want to call it. The Night Dragon had an amazing collection. He needs a bottle of bourbon. He needs to start cussing more. He needs to start fist-fighting his neighbors. Pissing out the wind into the neighbor's gutter. That's a good one. That's, that's things the American luchador does. Don't take your vitamins. Don't say any prayers. And be the biggest asshole you can be, America. Yeah, I'm glad. Junebug, Junebug did some. He was disappointed he didn't get on last time. He had, he dug that stuff out. And I, I don't even know what come up. I did a short show. I, it was the Toy Toy Ohio. Toy Ohio. Oh. Speaking of which, guys, where did I put it? Son of a bitch. I might have knocked that down, so that might have to wait till next week, boys and girls. You see the lovely Dan Housen shirt I got? I got a... I think I knocked it back there, so we're going to get it next week. I'll dig it out. Uh, Dan Housen autographed 8 by 10 I actually got two of them. One's hanging in the office. One's going to be displayed here in the back cave someplace. 
The Night Dragon needs merch. The Night Night Dragon needs to do his motherfucking job. He's a Padawan luchador. He ain't done shit yet. He finally dug out some toys. He didn't do any. I was told by Cripple H, which is his handler, that he was doing research as we speak on luchadors. And he gets on there. He's like, I, I don't know. Yep. What else you got to tell me about luchadors, June Bug? Well, that's about it. I'm like, what are you doing? You sent me a friend request a few weeks ago on Xbox. I will check. I haven't really been online. But I might get on tonight. I usually do after the show. Um, things were real hectic the last couple of weeks, so I haven't been getting on. But we need to do that. Um, we need to see. I'll do some research on that, unlike fucking Junebug and Cripple H, um, to see if this uh, WWE 2K22 is online and hopefully like the Call of Duty games have been, or the Activision ones anyways, cross-platform. So that would be cool. We could start our own wrestling faction out there in cyberspace playing on the World Wide Web against people. But So what's everybody else up to? We, um, we've wasted an hour at this point, about an hour of your time. Um... We sold a few shirts. And that's about it. We got to look at some of you. I'm checking my messages on my phone, guys. I do apologize. Tell people not to message me during the goddamn program, but that doesn't stop them. Whoa. Now, there's a good thing. A buddy of mine, Chris, who I originally met at two or three AIW shows ago. And now we're friends. We're Facebook official. We're friends. Good dude. Won't give out his last name. So rather he's... Are you in here, Chris, or no? So I sent him a thing. He sent me... We were talking about uh, Santo. We'll make sure his name don't come up before I show anything. Um, he got this on Amazon, it says. I'm not sure how many movies it is. I had, it looks like it is eight movies. I had a bunch of these, believe it or not, and about half of them weren't dubbed, too, which was great, on beta back in the day. Remember beta tapes? But um, I am going to, as soon as I get off here, jump on Amazon and probably order this, guys. Um, there are interesting movies. I'm not going to advise any of you guys to do it because it's a real niche thing. Um, and I'd feel bad if you fed 50 bucks and you like put the first disc in and you're like, oh, this is fucking Mesopotamian. You know what I mean by that. It starts with an R and ends with a D. Um, so I wouldn't want you to waste your money. But then again, maybe you're into some, you know, obscure things. I like, I love movies, you know, shit like that. The old Kung Fu movies that are poorly dubbed. Uh, the black exploitation films like Blackula and all that shit from back in the day. Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, oh, my God. I'm drunk already. My boy Dre Live turned me on to him back in the day. Did you look up 350? No, I did not. I do have the text reminder on my phone. I do swear. I haven't done it. Today I got up the same time the Mrs. Luchador did. And I did a bunch of domestic things because I'm a good little husband. Um, I did what, what I would call a deep clean in the living room. You wouldn't believe what was underneath and behind the couch. Um, I've done four loads of laundry today. Did all the dishes. Uh, did a deep clean of the bathroom because Luch loves to blow that shitter off if you know what I mean. <laughs> America. I live on a steady diet of bourbon and bacon. How do you think my fecal matter comes out my rear end? I mean, it does come out playing the Star Spangled Banner, but ooh, it'll wreck that toilet bowl. Do a deep clean on Cripple H. You know, Jets, I would love to. 
You remember First Blood where they're hosing him down? I don't think Cripple H's mustache can take him. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to um, order that, Alan. And um, I'm sure you guys can look that shit up online. Actually, I should probably message my buddy Chris back. Um... I try not to buy physical media anymore, believe it or not, because I have so much of it. I just text him, see if he's actually watching the show. A lot of people don't want to comment or they just watch without an account, and that's cool. I like the thumbs down more than I do the thumbs up because I'm an American, an ugly American, and I love it. Oh, he is watching. Well, thank you, Chris. I just chime in, say something. But um, yeah, Chris is a good dude, man. Uh, we ran into each other at an AIW show, bullshitted, uh, talked about old school wrestling back when it was really cool. AIW, this local shit here in Cleveland, I have a ton of fun. I have tickets for the next two shows, uh, March 10th and March 26th. Um, it's, it's always a good time. The March 26th show, I will be setting ringside front row, bitches. You'll make a good wife one day, so says Michelle. Um, I like the thumbs up. I like the thumbs down, though. I like those, too. You know, you know me. I'm a weird cat. I just like to hit them off with a fucking commie kisser. That's what I like to do. I gotta put up another banner. We all know Cripple H is a bum. I ain't gotta keep saying it. There's one of my favorites. Go fuck yourself. Um, but no, I, I thank you guys for coming in here and listening to me bullshit and carry on. But I just wanted to educate the uh, uneducated swine, as I call them, on the history of masked wrestlers. And of course, I left one out and I didn't do it in chronological order. But you know, I'm doing a George Lucas on this motherfucker. I do what I want. Um, but yeah, I do have a good time doing this. I keep spending money on crap to do it. So I hope somebody tunes in. Someday, maybe I'll be that there internet famous they keep talking about. You can always order a shirt or coffee mug or a bottle opener. The only thing stronger than this bourbon is, it says coffee, but it's actually bourbon, is the American luchador. I need me a Paul Bearer. Because he has become my favorite. Well, he always has been that, that high. Ooh, I can't even do that voice. But like I said this morning, as I was deep, deep cleaning the living room, like a good little husband, um, I had the broken, and it was Kane, and he was talking about how Percy Pringle, uh, you know, Paul Bearer, you know, was like his handler and just crazy shit. It was pretty funny. I'm a domestic douche. Oh. Every so often, you know, somebody needs one of them douches or else they run around stinking like Cripple H's fucking mustache. That shit wasn't in style when Hulk Hogan rocked it, brother. It was luck as fuck then. Here you are in the year 2022 still rocking a style that the Hulkster started rocking in 1970-something or other. And your mustache is just like the Hulkster's. They ain't been washed in forever. Yeah, I said washed. Well, thank you for coming on the uh, show, Wiki Bobby. Anybody wants to be on the show, Alan's been on here once, but he ain't been back. Um, We can pre-plan this because most of you guys have me on Facebook and or my real phone number. So we'll talk about whatever you want. Lungs in the balls wrestling. In America, and drinking, and bacon. I smoked the pork shoulder today, too. It come out pretty fucking good, America. I sent old Cripple H some pictures of it. He tried to hit me off to get me to deliver it to him. I said, no, sir. This is America's pork shoulder, and you got to come over here. I have some angels and be... Oh, held it up backwards. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, hit off any toys of the samurai sword. Which, you know, I uh, feel guilty because, according to somebody that won't be named, 
the reason this whole channel got started is my fault because you've seen one of said videos of me cutting open toys, vintage action figures with a samurai sword. I, I'll get something. I did get it. I was trying to reach it, guys. I, I did get a new belt, my boy James Taylor. Motherfucking Intercontinental. I held it up upside down because I'm a Mesopotamian. Intercontinental Championship. I'll put the Nakamura side plates in that hoe. Yeah. Another, that makes 36 straps for all you little boys and girls counting at home. Oh, and I do have two of these hobo straps new in the package that I figured old Cripple H would come try to get some of this smoke. You know? Mike Dragon <laughs> Mercy coming in hot on the phone. What? Is the Night Dragon calling you, brother? I didn't give him your phone number. But we can get some merch for the Night Dragon if you good boys and girls out there in uh, YouTube land want it. Yeah, Rhonda got these last last week. No, when was I? A Thursday. They're five bucks a piece new in the package at the Savers thrift store. I've been waiting on some fucking bum to come try to take them. But yeah, I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, was hoping Gray Fox would show up. Check the phone. Check the phone. Okay. Well, Chris, I know you're listening. I do appreciate you. We'll get you figured out, brother. We'll get you squared away. Uh, well, boy, I got a lot of messages. Oh, Junebug, are you ready for this? Listen here, little Night Dragon. Are you ready for some merch? Ooh, Night Dragon. Look at that. Can you boys and girls see it? That's pretty fucking dope. Sorry, my head stopped up too, guys. I apologize for snorting and sniffling. It ain't the coof, boys and girls. So don't get don't get your panties on a bunch. That non that fake nonsense can't kill the American luchador because bourbon runs through my veins. Salute, Junebug. That's a must. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you guys are the best, man. Sorry, I'm answering one. I try not to do this on the air, guys, and I do do apologize. But, um... And the goatee's itching under the mask. Ugh. There we go. I'm all adjusted. But Alan Gabbois says he's going to get him one of them there uh, Wiki Bobby Dragon fucking wizard shirts. But if you do have the vid, get your... Oh, shit! Did you put those up or not? Yeah, my merch guy did send me pictures of that earlier. And, well, the merch guy knows how I feel about said things. So I'm like this. I didn't... I mean, hey, man, whatever you can sell. I'm I, America. I'm all about capitalism. Uh, well, no, I'm not something because I have merch. I'm something because I'm the American luchador. I've been this way for years. Back in the day under President John Wayne, that's when everything was red, white, and blue, and we were proud to be Americans. Then this guy, Martin Sheen, I think he might have been president before John Wayne. This fucking guy, he was horrible. I think somebody shot him or something, though. But President John Wayne was the best American. And I just spilled bourbon all in this mask. Chris, who's in here, has been with me at shows where I have masks with me. He's seen these things firsthand. How stained up, fucking smelly, 
and burn full of cigarette holes they are. Oh, those masks were just for me? I mean, you can put them up. I don't care. Maybe I don't know. I mean, they're cool. I only wear them when I have to, like the post office. It's a walk into a sporting event that I stick it in my pocket. Oh, the dirty stash don't deserve no merch because ain't nobody that's a fan of him going to buy it. I'm going to tell you right now, brother, nobody's going to buy it. They're a bunch of fucking juggalos that like to drink Fago and live in their mom's basement. There are people like Clint Torres. The only way they'd buy any merch is somebody else would pay for it for them because they don't believe in America. They believe in handouts. But my, I need it. You don't understand. Fuck you, Clint. Or Clint. Whatever. Oh, you only had a few? All right, if you want to... Yeah, next time I see you, I'll, I'll get them from you. Because I have to wear them when I go to the post office. You know, I got to go to the post office mailing packages. So I purposely leave the ones that are in the car that me and Rhonda keep in there for when we go to sporting events or whatever. And you got to put them on for 32 seconds, like when we went to the AEW show. Nope, no merch allowed. We'll make whatever we want, buddy. This is America. I know where you live. You're not going to hire a lawyer to fucking interfere with anything we do. Merch, man, we're going to have to get on some Cripple H, like with a, I mean, a, I don't know, a weird stash thing, food hanging out of it. I don't know. We'll work it out. Yeah, the same way they tried to buy a pay-per-view with EBT cards, brother. I thought I could run them EBT cards for the pay-per-view. It didn't work out. Government said, stop. Thank you, Jets, for throwing up the link. Oh, he's throwing up the merch link. So I ain't got to... Yeah, Jets, Jets, I love you, bro. You you are, like, on it. You are definitely on it. I, that is a great thing. Oh, the mess merch maker says, give me four minutes. We'll have some Cripple H merch. This is America. I see the pants off you. I ain't wearing pants, motherfucker. I'm in my goddamn underwear. You know me. When I'm not at work, I try to wear as little. Just in case you guys didn't know the Dan Housing shirt. I put it on legit 35 seconds before I come on air. I have been running around my house all day in my motherfucking drawers. Imagine that. All this sexiness running around nude, you know, all the rolls and the sweat and the, oh, unlike some people, I took a fucking bath before I got on the air because I got to bathe once a day. I sue your underwear off. I don't wear underwears anymore. I'll sue your underwears off, buddy. I want your Wonder Woman underwears from 1978. I'm telling you right now. The wanted poster for T. No, we'll come up with something better than that. The merch man will come up with some whole new design. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what he comes up with. It's always fire, as they say. Oh, damn, my head stopped up. Do, 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 do. Come on. I'm waiting, merch man. You ain't suing shit. I'm going to come take the trailers off your house. Listen here, Cripple H. You don't want to catch none of this. None of it. Be sure and order you a coffee mug. The American Luchador. The only thing stronger than this coffee is the American Luchador. The best part of waking up is the American Luchador on your cup. My, I need my hands left. My, where's Ricky Compton merch? Sorry, I can't afford underwear. I live in a trailer. What the fuck's that got to do with buying underwear, bud? Oh, so you're one of them trailer park guys like Bubbles or Ricky or fucking Julian. You're always trying to do a get-rich-quick scheme because you're a fucking ne'er-do-well that don't want to be an American, get a fucking job, pay your taxes, and do the right thing. Yeah, I threw uh, Clint Torres. I threw him across the room. I'm not going to go get him, but we all know. 
But ma, but ma, I need my HazLab Sentinel. That motherfucker. I ain't, like I said the other day, I ain't seen shit out of him online. I think he finally blocked me. Uh, I've been blocked by better people, including Arn Anderson, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! Trailer Park Boys is my jam. The funny thing is, and this is not making fun of uh, Cripple H by any means. It come up in my feed from like eight years ago. I posted a picture because, in my opinion, which is a fact, I figured Triple H resembles Bubbles quite a bit. So I posted a picture of uh, Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys pushing a shopping cart in the trailer park. It said something disparaging to Cripple H, you know, on Facebook, on our personal Facebooks. Sure enough, eight years later, it pops up. Now I'm like, oh, I predict everything. This motherfucker lives in a trailer park, got a shed, and a bunch of motherfucking shopping carts laying around. Don't lie, Cripple H. I'm telling you, Julian was the brains of the operation, so you're not insulting me. Uh, Cripple H only has one kitty, though. And it's not uh, named Gary Laser Eyes, which is sorely disappointing. Yeah, Trailer Park Boys, the first uh, seven, eight seasons of it. I, I'm waiting on that new merch. Well, of all the things that's come out of Canada, other than you, Alan, uh, I would be proudest of the Trailer Park Boys, I think. I really would. Um, that show I found by mistake a few years, well, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. And I'm just like watching it. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? I watch this next one, the next one. And I'm like, hoo hoo, binge time. Yeah, Cripple H is lucky. And I'm going to tell everybody right now publicly, because if I still had a pickup truck, now where he lives, I would, because I see shopping carts, because I live in the hood all the time, I would pick them up, take them to Cripple H's house, and throw them in his yard, and then snap pictures of it, just to prove a point, you know what I mean? Because I'm that kind of asshole. One black cat in her name, Salem. Mm. Salem 100s, Salem Kings, Salem Lights. Every time I hear it, Shut up, you bunch of commie dogs. I hear the commies barking downstairs. <laughs> we train across the border. Oh, my God, Sebastian Bach. And they were sending cigarettes back, right? Yeah. That was one of the movies, I think, actually. And then it played over into the following season. It wasn't Liquor Day. I think that was the first movie. American Luchador Buddy Harvey, thanks for throwing it up on Facebook, Jets. Waiting on that merch link to come through. No, it still ain't here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck me running. Who wouldn't want a t-shirt with that on it? I don't know if you can pick it up. Might have to turn the brightness down. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, it's a filthy fucking stash. With hit sticks, or because I call them crip sticks. <laughs> Shit. You've outdone yourself, Mesopotamian merch man. That's going to be a hot one, baby. <laughs> Oh, this <laughs> let me let me let me check my EKG. I might be having a fucking heart attack at this point. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus! <laughs> oh, America! No, not too much. That is fucking perfect, dude. It's not what I expected at all. Blew my fucking mind. 
<laughs> we might sell two of those. Have at it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm fucking crying under the mask, guys. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm American under the mask, too, baby. That's what I do. Fucking eyes are... Wa the glasses are fogging up. I can't read. <laughs> I I'm telling you, merch man, you've outdone yourself, baby. Go call your law, Cooter. He got... Fucking Tim Misney. Do anybody here in Cleveland understand? He got Tim Misney on speed dial. He's a personal injury lawyer, you fucking Mesopotamian. That is perfect. Simple, yet effective. You are right, sir. I got to clean my glasses. I can't see shit. Oh, I'm crying on there. And Betty White has been dead for weeks. My lawyer's boss hog. That motherfucker's dead as fuck, bro. <laughs> I could have outsmarted that hill jack drunk as fuck. Get, 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 get. Better off hiring fucking Roscoe, baby. <laughs> he wasn't even a lawyer. Oh, hit off that. Oh, my God. Anybody that follows um, Rhonda or me on Facebook, I got tagged in the picture. Um, I might have my new manager. See, Butters is Rhonda's favorite, and it's been like a whole thing. Butters did a heel turn the other day on her. Yeah, she did. She come over and laid with me, and Rhonda kept trying to bait her with food and everything. Bo Duke. That motherfucker and them tight-ass nut huggers. Tell me him and fucking, uh, what's the other one, Luke Duke? Luke Duke weren't, you know, doing the old uh, in out, in out. Come on, man couple of dudes with their shirts unbuttoned riding around this, you know, really orange car with a Confederate flag on it. Come on, dude. Kissing cousins. More like fucking cousins. Roscoe P. Cold Train. Can't insult the Dukes of Hazard. Triple H might get his, his fucking dan... Shut up, you commie dogs! His dander all worked up, man. He might come over and take it out on me. That's like his jam, if you know what I mean. Old Jake the Snake says, Triple H, you're so cold garbage, brother. Tell him, Jake. Oh, Jake knows. Jake knows what time it is. But yeah, if uh, Bo and Luke weren't uh, fucking each other, something was wrong. And dudes definitely had the hots for themselves and each other, I'm telling you. They're the kind of guys that jack off their own ass in the mirror. I'm, it is what it is. Roscoe P. Cole train. But yeah, it's been a fun show, guys. Um, do your studying on masked wrestlers before you try to insult the American luchador. Because you can go fuck yourself. This is how Stone Cold did it. You turn his hands around, but I'm going to give you this. If you don't know what you're talking about, it's best you shut up and not look like a fucking fool. Coy and Vance, oh, you know those two had the hots for each other. Jesus. Running around in an anti-American car with the stars and bars on it. A bunch of racist little pricks that like to play hide the pickle with each other. You talk to John Snyder once a month? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucks, bro. Tell him I said, hey. <laughs> I got one of his goddamn cassette tapes in there in my cassette box. We probably should burn that. Liberate America. Yeah, I never understood the fascination. I know I've went over it with it numerous times. Uh, the fascination with flying a flag of a uh, defeated nation. Because, you know, and then all these hilljacks run around in shirts and say, <laughs> oh, my God. Bruh, look at your model wearing your shirt. God damn, girl. Is that picture from 19? Now she's got the, like, tats and everything. It's very 90s looking. Uh, Merch Man, 
You Mesopotamian, you are my personal hero. Put that shit up on the webpage. We're going to sell two of those, baby. Um, nah, I just, I never got it. I don't know. Even as a kid, I had issues with it, but it was like the coolest show on TV. And then I'm told it before I bought the first two seasons on DVD, didn't make it through the first disc. I said, hey, he'll build up the street. Take these fucking things. South will rise again. I love when I see them people on TV. They like this. Um, I wish I had some bubble gum up here. Those people, those people usually got one tooth sticking out over here. Way the superior ones, and we going to rise again, buddy. Their family tree is legitimately a telephone pole. It goes straight up. Uncle, baby, daddy, cousins. Uh, Cornhole and the livestock, the whole nine yards. They are not Americans. They are radical pieces of shit. Don't get political on this show, but anybody that likes the Confederate flag, Triple H says, oh, please, this motherfucker. Talk about educating people. Let me educate a motherfucker. Some people I know, I ain't going to say any names, have this weird fascination with the state of West Virginia. They never actually lived there. The family's from there, which is cool. Do you know the reason there's a Virginia and a West Virginia? Because West Virginia said, hell no, we don't want to succeed from the Union. Virginia, because that was all Virginia. Then it becomes West Virginia, Virginia. Or like this. Just so we're clear on this. Just so we're clear on this. Ever so often, it does not hurt you at all to open up a book and try to educate yourself on something or anything at this point. Um, when you have a lot of free time on your hands. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a lot of... Excuse me. Oh, that bourbon tastes bad coming back up. I, having a job that I put a lot of hours in, having a bunch of fucking commie dogs they going to look after when I'm not <laughs> at work. I'll take a large pink dirty stash shirt. America, America. Um, I think everybody, and I, I, everybody should try to learn something new every day. <laughs> Rather, it's. I don't know, fucking even something as simple as a different way of fucking lacing and or tying your shoes. Just anything. I just said this multiple times. We got this 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 magic devil box right here, right? We can open up this devil. Okay, it opened to my face. No, no, let me open that. I won't show anybody's phone number. So I open up that magic devil box. That magic devil box got all these little things in here you can do. You can just type in this thing right here called Google. Or wait a minute, this magic devil box goes, Hey Siri, will the South ever rise again? I found this on the web for whatever the South ever rise again. Check it out. Okay, this is some Indian. It don't understand the way I talk because I'm too American. Hey Siri, who flies Confederate flags? Dirty hillbillies, it says. <laughs> Dirty rednecks. Well, if you had been listening, Cripple H, West Virginia is West Virginia because they succeeded from Virginia. So all our relatives down there in West Virginia didn't want nothing to do with all that nonsense going off down south here. They said, we like things better up here north here. We ain't down with, well, number one, succeeding from the Union. Number two, slavery, printing our own money, et cetera, and so on. The list goes on and on. So we don't know how that worked out for them. America. God damn, we're fucking 2-0 and oh in world wars. I ain't going to count Vietnam. I ain't getting in all that mess. We done went over to the desert a couple times. Put fucking boot to ass. 
Just so we're clear, shut up, you commie dogs. Please, even your phone can't understand your hillbilly accent. I, I know this motherfucker didn't just try to throw shade on me. I'm, I'm going to give you 32 seconds to take that back. <sighs> Dirty stash shirt. Oh! I'm going to have a little more Angel's Envy. You know... Chris, if you're still watching, hit me up. Maybe I'll have you come over if you're not working one night. I mean, we were talking the other day. I think you'd be a good guest. You're a wrestling fan. He's a cool dude, man. Um, and then, I, I hate to say it, anybody that actually knows me, well, Chris at this point does, because when you run each other's shows, I'm hard of hearing. So that's why I talk so loud. But it's not as loud as some people in my work to rock around go. <laughs> um, have you ever, uh, Chris, will play wrestling figures and belts and we'll get you a luchador mask. You ain't going to put your face out there if you don't want to. Everybody knows this beautiful face. Look, chisel that stone, baby. American as fuck, like John Wayne, bitch. Well, you need that motherfucker in hot pink. I'm going to tell you, because I think that looks good. Is that the one that was on my thing? Boys and girls, I am colorblind, so I think it was hot pink. You know, the thing about being colorblind is you actually learn from people, tell, well, me personally. Um... Well, it's pink or red. You learn from the, uh, it's all different shades of gray. That sounds weird. Nothing to do with that dumbass movie and or books. People will tell you, you know, enough that, you know, this is purple, this is purple, this is purple. And you can tell purple from blue for the most part. Like green and blue, I get fucked up a lot. But So you don't want me painting your goddamn house. That's for sure. Oh, my God. I got all kinds of messages, boys. Shut up, you goddamn commies. But, yeah, maybe um, get you a swing over here one night, Chris. We can do one of those. You know, if, you know, like a Saturday night don't work for you. We can do a rando Wednesday or Thursday. What color would show the stash and the shirt? Well, that stash is so fucking dirty. If the shirt ain't black, you're for sure seeing it. So you can safe on whatever color you want, America. But for all the uneducated swine in California, fuck you. All the uneducated swine in Cleveland, fuck you. If you don't know what you're talking about, you probably should shut up. It's been my advice for years to people. Um, every so often open a book, read something and learn something. If you're too stupid to open a book, you got your goddamn little looky box thing here. Open that up. Learn something. Oh, he can make the stash in any color you want to be contrast, which should be a shitty brown. You, whatever. You ever seen, um, you've seen the Daytona 500 at one time or another even though I'm not in the net car. You know all them skid marks? They're like on the track. You do that in poop color. That's pretty much it. That's what boys' drawers look like. Dirty stash shit is up. America! We about to get a cease and desist from, from fucking... I'm not even going to go into it. I'll do it all fair. Oh, Lord. Oh, I got to look. Let me go to the website. Oh, goddamn, where's the link? I can't click on my phone fast enough. It goddamn devil box is doing crazy things. Actually, that dog down that stairs barking is making me nuts. But he's old and he's blind, so he's barking at the wall. So I'm going to go right here on this devil box. I'm fun to look. 
I click on the American Luchador Collection. America. Is it loading? It's still loading. Oh, shit, my phone's not on Wi-Fi. That's why. I'm like, what the fuck? Thank you, Jets. Jets is still in here. You put up with a lot of nonsense, sir. See, Jets gets it. He's in a ball. Well, he's a New York cop for years, too. But certain people um, like law enforcement, America, rules, normal things. So help me God, I'm going to kill my own dog. Um, I'm not sure why Jets um, deals with this non nonsense, but yeah, I'm glad he does. Throws up the links. Why is my Wi-Fi not working? Yeah, before the show, guys, I was like in panic mode too because I'm not connected again. Bat Cave. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is called the Bat Cave. All right. Now let me try this link again. But I, I was like freaking out. I'm on the phone with Spectrum. Like, Live person like screaming into my phone. I guess we'd had a uh, outage and my uh, router hadn't reset, which was awesome. Unbeknownst to me, I come up here like 10 minutes for the show starting, 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, you know, let me get, you know, smoke a cigarette, you know, get ready for the show, blah, 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 blah. And nothing was working. So I was freaking out. And now this is not working. I can't click it on my damn laptop. I'm going to try it one more time before I get off here, guys. I do thank you guys for being here and listening to my nonsense. Um, all you Confederate flag-waving hilljacks, cousin fuckers. All you ignorant motherfuckers in California that don't know anything about wrestling. Oh no, I'm gonna I gotta give you the double fuck you. Give me the thumbs down. Do whatever it is you got to do. Maybe you ought to learn learn something out of a book every so often. I don't know what to tell you. Because Ray Mysterio, believe it or not, is not the be all end all of luchadors wearing mask. Luchador means wrestler and or fighter. Look it up. Thought you spoke Spanish because you was out there. America. But obviously, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You just sound like a fucking Mesopotamian, which we all actually know starts with an R and ends with a D. But <laughs> thank you guys for dealing with my nonsense tonight. Thank you, Chris, for tuning in. We'll get you uh, set up with a YouTube account. Um, I'll make you one of them there moderators, buddy. I'll give you a wrench and you can throw people in and or out of the chat. Chris is a really good dude. Thank you for tuning in. I am going to, when I get off here, legitimately look online and probably get on Amazon and order the El Santo set because I am legitimately hip because I had all that shit back and down beta, which is long gone. Um, the only archaic format I have at the moment is Select Division, which are those big picture discs. Um, color swatches back order for the on back order what do you mean um chris if you don't if you want something hit me up directly if you don't do the whole online thing we didn't get that delve that deep into your online relationship i was surprised when you showed up in here i'm glad you did i always like new people once again, I don't know if uh, the ghoul is going to have a show or not. Um, he's always like negotiating for more money. I can't even. Get, well, I got 99 cents for a pay-per-view. So one subscriber. Cripple H's bum ass just fucking punked out on me, though, because he, he's too busy back in the back room with his fucking tear jerk rag, as I call it, going. Oh. Uh, oh. 
Then he fucking falls asleep in his own fucking mess. I dropped internet while while updating. Should be back in stock now. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I'll be on next Saturday. If uh, Captain Crappy is not up to snuff, I'll jump in on dear Tuesday. I'll do a show with a. You only get the mask once a week, guys. That's it. it. Yeah, even when I'm shaved up and everything, it still makes me sweat and everything. I'll be honest with you, you're not worthy. You order 10 more shirts, maybe you'll be worthy for the mask twice a week. Um, that's really uncomfortable. So I, I do give credit. I, I can't imagine just from being in a wrestling show like the last one Chris was at me with, I wear the mask I don't know, 90% of the time. And it's the middle of winter here in Cleveland, and I was fucking sweating like a whore in church. It was just bad. And I'm just like, how? And I'm like, rubbing my eyes and the sweat just like how do these guys perform these fucking things painting the ceiling that little fucking putty he's got wouldn't paint the fucking back of his underwear if he's underneath the underwear doing you know what I mean oh 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 night dragon says good night everyone Good night, little night dragon, baby. You need to get you a bottle of bourbon, brother. Throw away whatever vitamins you have in the house. Eat a lot of fucking bacon. I know you can do that. Start mainlining some fucking bacon grease. You know, get, get your fucking beef on, baby. Look at this right here. Fucking 50 years old, flabby as fuck, but I still got these rock. I'll beat the brakes off your bitch ass. Paint the ceiling. But no, it's been it's been a fun show. Um, anybody that tuned in that's not a regular, I do apologize. It is what it is. Thank you. Order some merch. Um, Cripple H, go fuck yourself. Hill Jacks, go fuck yourself. People in California that don't know what they're talking about, go fuck yourself like this. And if you got an issue, send it straight to me. Don't send it via proxy through my cousin. Goodbye now. Dirty stash shirts heading to Connecticut. America!